Why is it that so many extremely wealthy individuals want to leave our lovely planet Earth and live in a colony on Mars? If you had the opportunity to go, would you? Let us know in the comments section. The typical dystopian response is that they want to escape before our pale blue orb is destroyed by one or more human-caused catastrophes. The egotistical response is that they can, or at least they want us to believe so. Greed is one reason that rarely, if ever, comes up. Rich people are always looking for more money because they never seem to have enough. However, asteroids like 16 Psyche, 1986 DA, and 2016 ED85, which are loaded with iron, nickel, and cobalt reserves exceeding all that are known on Earth, are the typical space rocks that greedy future space travelers look at. On the other hand, wealthy individuals may be attracted to Mars by the presence of precious minerals. NASA's most recent report reveals that the Curiosity rover has found a strange gemstone with unusual properties all over the Gale crater, where it landed in 2012. If you are wondering why the general public has only recently been informed of this, perhaps it is time to inquire about the wealthy. A new study published in the Journal of Geophysical Research by a team affiliated with Arizona State University found. Curiosity has observed a lot of light-domed rocks surrounding fractures that crisscross certain parts of the Martian landscape during its over 18 miles of roving around the Gale Crater. Planets and space geologists use some very scientific terms to explain this. These so-called fracture halos can be seen on the Martian horizon, not just near Curiosity's wheels. The images of the fracture halos were filed away for future reference, despite their interest. However, they were not sufficiently interesting to warrant much time spent on them. The future is upon us. Travis Gabriel a former New Space postdoctoral fellow at Arizona State University who now works as a research physicist for the U.S. government, and Sean Charnecki, a graduate student at ASU and study co-author, have joined the Curiosity rover team. In a press release from ASU, Gabriel and Charnecki explained that those old images of fracture halos piqued their curiosity. The researchers were astonished to find that the rocks and the fractured halos looked the same regardless of where they were located or when Curiosity photographed them over its 10 years of roaming, in addition to being surprised by their number and dense distribution across the Martian landscape, at least in the Gale Crater where Curiosity lives and works. Then, a fortunate photo showed a key. Curiosity had broken some of the rocks when it ran over one of the fractured halos early in its mission to Mars. Gabriel and Charnecki were able to identify these light-colored rocks by combining all of that information. The DAN, dynamic albedo of neutrons, spectrometer on the rover, a pulse-sealed tube neutron source and detector used to measure hydrogen, ice, and water on or near the surface of Mars showed unusually high counts, suggesting that those rocks may contain water. They went back and examined images taken by the laser-induced breakdown spectrometer chemistry and camera, or CAM. CAM. These images now confirmed that these rocks were primarily composed of silica and water. Opal is an amorphous form of hydrated silica, CO2 and H2O with a water content of 3 to 21 percent by weight. Opal is typically found in limonite, sandstone, rhyolite, marl, and basalt fissures on Earth. The Sanskrit word for jewel and the Greek word for to see a color change both refer to the more well-known of the two types of opal, which are precious and common. A well-known iridescent combination of colors makes precious opal a popular gemstone. Opal has a long history as a jewelry stone, especially with European royalty who took advantage of the large deposits in Australia and Ethiopia. Australia's national gemstone is opal. 
it is more likely that the opal on Mars is of the milky-colored common variety. This is good news for astronauts and wealthy colonists who might want to use the opal for a different purpose, but it will initially disappoint wealthy future colonists. The fact that the opal in these fracture halos is relatively recent in comparison to the rest of the Gale Crater is the final piece of the puzzle. Since Curiosity saw fracture halos to the horizon, this area and possibly many others were water-rich environments, possibly the last on Mars. It also indicates that the fracture networks in the subsurface were formed in conditions that were more conducive to human settlement than the harsh surface environment of today. What implications does this have for upcoming colonists, explorers, and super-rich exploiters on Mars? We now know that scientists have been expecting to find water sources far beyond Mars' polar regions. The next thing that needs to be done is to look for opal in other parts of Mars that might not have been considered good places for humans to land due to their lack of water and dry atmosphere. This indicates that Mars explorers will bring equipment to mine the opals and extract their water if any is found, which is now highly likely. Additionally, it probably indicates that those seeking financial gain will quickly establish opal shops, water plants, and mining businesses. Do you doubt it? Take a look at every new mineral-rich land discovered on Earth. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section. And if you enjoy our content, and never want to miss a video, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.